This is when my day begins. Welcome back to Sneaker League Studio. I want to initially say that overall, it is a solid sneaker and I would recommend it if you're a guard that enjoys playing in low tops. This was actually my very first time playing in low tops because I always thought that leads to an injury, but honestly, my foot felt surprisingly secure even without ankle support. The fin and lockdown both go hand in hand with this model because when I first balled them, my lockdown was minimalistic, but that's expected as there was dead space in the toe box. In sneakers I play balling, I always get a size 12, and when I did that with these, I had to double sock to get the full experience of the Kobe X. As soon as I fixed the fitting and tied the laces up tight, it became an enjoyable experience. It's also important to note that there's a carbon fiber plate in place at the forefront of the shoe and the outsole protrudes slightly to improve your stabilization when making lateral movements. With that being said, for lockdown, I would list these at 85%. And as far as for sizing, I would either go true to size or if worst case scenario, go a half size down and that's if you're narrow footed. Traction I see in the video was A1 fresh out the box, even on dusty courts. Though, one thing I noticed was that Kobe 9's traction was slightly more aggressive. When I wear those, every step bites the floor and you get that fresh squeaking sound. With these, I would say the grip is just as good, yet still less aggressive. The traction gets to 95%. The cushion setup is your typical standard Lunar midsole and the upper is composed of fuse and mesh. The first couple of wears, the upper wasn't necessarily stiff, but it wasn't as soft as I thought it could be. Comfort comes in at 90%. As for durability, the fuse underlay, a new weave textile material Nike has been implementing, and another fuse overlay over high tension areas provides a pretty solid shoe. 
fuse is almost always durable, so upper durability comes in as shocking 97%, while traction durability at 85%, but that's with consideration that most of recreational players play outside. The final component of the shoe would be the flexibility, in which Nike did provide flex grooves to enhance its flexibility, yet yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say that flexibility is something always spectacular. Don't get me wrong, it was good, if not great, but I do not feel as if it reaches full potential. For example, the Hyper Revs. I blame this on the fact that the Hyper Revs grooves are free, and on the Kobe X grooves are encapsulated by rubber which might make up for that slight, slight disparity in the flexibility. The flexibility comes in at a solid 90%. Stay tuned to the channel for performance reviews in the upcoming Nike Elite series. This is the Sneak Elite, and these are the Kobe X. Peace.